Hey, welcome back to the workshop. So the other day, I tried to make a marlin spike out of phosphor bronze. And while it worked okay, I've discovered that this spike is way too soft for the kind of work I want to do with it. I need to make one that's harder than this, that's, that's stiffer, more resistant to bending. Now I've read that you can work hardened phosphor bronze by hammering it. So what I'm going to do is take some more of my bronze bar and I'm going to hammer it into kind of a octagon shape and see if that doesn't make it a little bit stiffer. It might or it might not. I don't know how much hammering it takes to get the kind of hardness levels out of this uh, that I need to make it a good working tool. Um, but we're going to find out. So let's go. Okay, so I've cut two pieces of bronze rod about seven inches long. One of these is going to be my control. I'm not going to do anything to it. That's going to get set aside. The other one is going to get hammered. And uh, after uh, that's done, I'm going to compare the stiffness of the two and see if we can actually work harden phosphor bronze. Because we know that heating bronze up and then quenching it actually makes it softer, not harder, I'm going to be working this piece cold. As you can see, the soft bronze deforms very easily under the hammer. This shouldn't take much work at all. And you can tell something's happening. This bar is starting to get hot. I'm going to let that cool down for a minute. Okay, at this point, I've taken the bar from round to approximately square. I don't know if I'd say it's any stiffer yet, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, hammer on these corners until it's an octagonal shape, and then we'll test it. Okay, this piece of bronze has seen plenty of hammering. I think if it's going to work harden, it's probably work hardened by now. Now it's time to test it. I think I want to clamp this in a vise and hang weight from it. And then I'll clamp the control bar in the same vise and hang the same weight from it. If my theory is correct, if this works, then the hammered bar should be able to hold up more weight than the control bar. Let's find out. Okay, the bars will be clamped in the vise one inch from the end to ensure consistency. I'm going to test the control bar first to find out how much weight it can hold. All right, let's start with five pounds. Okay, holds five. Now I'm going up to two five pound weights We'll see if it'll hold 10. So far it holds 10. Let's add another two and a half. See if it'll hold 12 and a half pounds. I think we're already getting uh, up to its limit. It's definitely starting to bend, but I think we can go one more. I'll add another two and a half pounds to bring the total weight up to 15 pounds. Yep, I think that's it. Well, it might have slipped in the vise. Let me retighten this and try again one more time. Okay, we're up to our one inch mark. <clears throat> All right, there's no way that thing is moving now. 15 pounds.
That takes it. This bronze rod is stronger than I thought. All right, we'll add another two and a half. Bring our total up to 17 and one half pounds. Still taking it. I may have to go in and get more weights. All right, this is 20 pounds. Have to be careful to load the bar with this slowly. I want to measure the static strength, not the dynamic shock loading. And it holds. Man, that's pretty good. That is actually way more weight than I thought this bar would hold up. Okay, 25 pounds. definitely starting to bend. There's some real tension in that bar. But we haven't bent it over yet. Let's keep going. Okay, 30 pounds. If we get to 40, I'm going to quit. I think this will mean the this piece of bronze is way stronger than I'll ever need it to be to serve as a marlin spike. Holds 30. Now we're up to 35 pounds. All right, it bends enough now that the rope won't stay on, even though we aren't necessarily reaching <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, and it springs right back. Um, I'd say for my purposes, that's plenty of weight. I think we can tell that this piece of bronze is absolutely as strong as I need it to be for the task that I'm going to use it for. So that's good. Next, let's test the, uh, the hammered one and see if it's work hardened at all. If it has, it ought to be able to hold this 35 pounds with much less bending than this rod, and maybe even more. All right, we'll put the hammered rod in the vise up to the one inch mark and tighten the shit out of it. All right, that should be good and secure. It's not coming out of there now. Now, because I already know the other rod could take at least 35 pounds, I don't need to bring this one up through the steps. I can go straight to the 35. So we're going to hang this and then slowly bring the knot out to add weight to the bar. Nope. Ah, it slipped in the vise anyway. All right. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, get a bigger hammer. That ought to hold the weight now. Okay, take two, 35 pounds on the presumably work hardened bar. All right, weights on the bar. Slide the knot. Nope, I think it's actually worse. Okay. That didn't work at all. 
All right, well, I guess we have to say, at best, the results on this experiment were inconclusive. It sure looks like uh, trying to uh, work harden the uh, phosphor bronze bar by hammering it didn't work. But we know uh, with a good deal of certainty that copper alloys, copper, bronze, other things, do work harden under hammering. Maybe I just need to hammer it more than this. Uh, I really don't have a good gauge to know how much hammering it takes for work hardening to uh, be successful. But that's going to have to be an experiment for another time. So I hope you found that interesting and informative, and uh, I'll be right back here in the workshop with another video just as soon as I can. See you then.